Are you? Um, Hi. Cheers. Oh, uh, drunk. She's I'm drunk. I'm drinking John's margaritas because it's taco night. You know, Taco Tuesday doesn't have to be Tuesday anymore because every day is every day, right? If you're every day is inside, every day, girl. One day is as good. Slow for down. As the next day is my. She's argument. been drinking. We're making. She's been drinking. Possibly good tacos because we're not using meat. We're using plant-based meat. We already okay. have black beans cooking on the good stove. For you. Straight from a can. No. I do flavor them up. Onions, garlic, any fresh or Is that a dry fucking bay leaf in like there? Cumin, coriander, a little oregano. Coriander. Bay and a tiny piece of cinnamon. And I mean tiny, like so tiny cinnamon? I gotta go fishing for it. Like C an inch at most. Why do you do this? Salt, pepper, oregano, cumin, coriander. Just looks like it. a fucking bean and stew. And you add a little cayenne pepper hot sauce to that at the end. Cayenne pepper hot sauce? If you're talking about Frank's Red... Rice. In I will stock, beat you with that bottle. Because we're doing a plant-based dinner. Uh, and I'm going to okay. stir in Rice some Rice is ground, for any occasion. Um, Not just plant-based. We are getting a skillet hot for our plant-based meat. The plant-based meat, uh, you can brown it and then add liquid to it. Okay. Or you can start with the onions and peppers and garlic and throw that into the meat. Put our vegetables away clean and ready to use. I prep out a couple onions, shallots, white, red. Every few days I refill You gotta bag. prep your veggies in a bag in case you're too drunk. And to we're prep going them to add while you're onion, cooking. Garlic and chili pepper to your meat, or in this case, impossible. Is the cameraman I drunk too? I imagine it's her husband the holding a camera. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm turning it way down low. And I'm gonna give it moisture and flavor and spice. That stuff so really does look pretty real. Although she burnt some of those pieces. The weirdest food combination you love. I love cumin and caraway. Most people don't put them together. C <laughs> Shut so, up. Of course uh, you love cumin. Garlic, onion, jalapeno. So now we're okay. to that point where we're adding the onions and the garlic and the jalapenos. Where's to the meat? The slowly browned, not meat that is so delicious you'll never know the difference. It is pretty convincing, I'm not going to lie. Those out impossible it. and beyond meats. I love Old El Paso. I oh, love we know. Ortega and all the taco companies out Rotel. there. Rotel. Oh, Old yeah. El Paso is what I grew up with, okay? I spice my own tacos, whether I was making this with plant-based meat or beef and chorizo. I'm going to put in what the fuck cumin. No! Girl! These Girl, look, at, she put so much cumin. Cool the best spice company I've ever come across in my life. Oh my God. Coriander, it's best buddy. They go everywhere together. No, why do you spread lies? This is misinformation. Coriander and cumin, just they're, they're just spices. A little oregano. What the fuck? A little pimenton or smoked paprika. Pimentone? Jesus. Pretty good. And chili powder. So chili powder, when you Valentina? just see like this chili powder or seasoning she has on a Valentina? label. And it's a chili pepper product. These okay. are blends. At least it's this not Frank's Gephardt, Red. And this one uh, it was a gift from a friend. But there it is. And it has a little dried lime That's zest probably your only good it. friend but these who are gave you blends. that. So you're just using a fairly mild... Because of course you wouldn't take it upon yourself powder. to get that kind of hot sauce. You'd only have pepper, it if someone gifted it to you. Chili pepper itself. Chipotle means smoky and spicy. Ancho means dark and moody okay. and very mild. Okay, do a lingo. We're then going to add our salt and pepper. The and fuck some is this? Water that is a giant that ass pepper mill. Salt shaker. So now we're going to add about a cup of water. Jesus. Enough with the I water. I measured it, but I never measure. So that's stupid. Yeah. I just dumped it in the pot. It's hard so to measure when you're there drunk. There you go. We're going to let that cook. Now. Let them cook. Here, I took this 15 minutes. This is white rice. You took this 15 minutes? Girl, stuff. are you aware now of the sentences you're the forming? This is green rice. Inside the food processor. Chipotle do. A jalapeno. Some scallion, two or three scallions, 
garlic. It seems like she's really struggling to like of cilantro. name what's clearly right in front of her. Spinach. You could also use defrosted frozen spinach. Adding a little lime juice for brightness and acidity. Mmm, look at that fresh mulch. It's like lawn Back grass up. clippings. Back it up. The way she talks to her husband. So disrespectful. Into the pot she goes. Look at that. It looks like the, the leftover pulp from like a wheatgrass shot. Mmm. Rice that'll now make you shit. From the bottom. So the rice That's is a good thing. full of flavor because we cooked it in stock. And now we're adding all those great vitamins and all those great flavors. Vitamins? The acidity. Okay. The onion, the garlic, the spinach. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Why does she sound like Cookie Monster there? Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so I have a whole taco station over here. All you really need for this is lettuce. Tomato and onion, taco sauce. If you're making white people tacos, yeah. Sauce. Most people would probably just go the traditional hard taco shell route and just put out taco sauce, yeah. which is totally legit. No, it's not. I did make some guacamole base. This is um, full of tips, this bowl. Jesus. So, is the cameraman when drunk? We're making guac or oh, if it's her gallo. husband, then yeah, he is. In this case, I grated onion this? for the guac, I grated garlic. I have very finely chopped cilantro, and I have uh, jalapeno, or you could use serrano pepper, okay. cumin, and the juice. Of, Why do you uh, you don't put really cumin in it? Line. Cumin doesn't Rolled go it raw. I've got a lot of juice. Look at all that juice. See now, I added salt, and I let the acid and the salt work for a while. This woman Look and her fucking cumin. The bottom of that bowl. It's a lot of liquid there. That's yeah. what's gonna make these avocados taste fantastic. Haas avocados. You want them to have a give when you buy them. But if you're not going to do your avocado baking, trick them in a brown paper where bag. you smash the avocado and through that helps ripen them a little quicker. Was it like an oven I rack or something? See? Because it's a cleaning. Ago, it's avocado, like too much to clean. That's why she's not doing it, it, it because she doesn't Don't have do her that. assistance One of my to clean up after her. Literally opened a vein Damn, girl. That. So just... Take it out with your finger. <laughs> she is drunk. That, that is okay. how a drunk person handles avocado. If you avocado. work in kitchens, great. You'll do it with a knife. If you don't, don't try. Mash it up with a fork. So, iceberg lettuce. Again, I put it away as clean as possible. Took off the one outer leaf. This is something um, that's super fun. The way you core lettuce is to knock it like that and you get the core of the iceberg out in one I didn't know that. piece like that. Did I just learn something from You're Rachel fucking way? You're less iceberg than you think. So just add it to salads during the week. See, I'm unfamiliar with the ways sammies. of iceberg lettuce because you know, sandwiches and I don't lunchtime. put this on my so tacos. To top a gajillion tacos, so don't chop up a whole head of iceberg lettuce just to top a couple of tacos you're just not going to use that much it makes us all feel like we don't have to make a salad uh, okay <laughs> but you're just not going to need that much so here's our last where's my super all right so now why don't you show them the taco bar so here's our guacamole pico de gallo now that's a white, white onion, people taco night feast just straight up taco sauce out of the jar you the know what? That's good. I need Rachel Ray to stick to jarred salsa. salsa. She can't yeah, make can't salsa anymore. Line, she salsa adds some weird shit like cinnamon. And this is a fire roasted tomato salsa. Agave nectar. Um, these were left over from brunch. Leftovers. Okay. okay. The only thing I made fresh was guac and pico or diced tomato. I mean, pico is just diced tomato plus jalapeno and onion. So same diff, right? No, I always not the same diff. Also, your guac doesn't have tomato. What the fuck? I made a little station. The most important thing, at least according to me, you have to check with old El Paso and Ortega or all the other people who make tacos in the country. But for Or me, check with Mexicans, maybe? 
It's all about toasting the taco. Oh, never mind. Don't check with and Mexicans about this bullshit. And I taco before I toast it. Fucking hate so these taco shells. So cheese plant-based cheese, if that's what Those you use. Those wide base But I put the shells, taco shells. The stand-up shells. On a tray. Stand-up shells. With the cheese. You can barely stand up. Those tacos are standing better than you are right now. flavor to life and melt the cheese. Why do I put the cheese in first instead of just putting it out as a topping? Because you do because stupid shit. Because the cheese shit. makes a safety net, a blanket... <laughs> So that our plant-based it. meat doesn't soak through the bottom. Well, why is your fucking meat so watery then? See, you're not making your meat right. Yeah. She's gonna burn it. And she goes to toast for a few. Your beans are bubbling. Oh! Black beans are done. So is my stomach. Girl, are you gonna burn the beans lovely? again? Rachel Ray, can you fucking make some proper beans? What is with those? Taco checking. Hashtag taco checking. Girl, look at her taco hair. Wrapping. She looks disheveled. Look at that. Brown. Wow. The tacos are brown. The cheese is Practically melted. burnt. They're, yeah. ooh, they're Perfect. toasty. Looking backwards is not easy. Look, look how pretty that is. Underneath the lights, you can really see how beautiful that is. They look. They're burnt on the edges. Burnt back up a little. They're bi- there you go. No, See that's not his fault. That's your fault. Here's our plant-based meat. See how there's no moisture left in the pan? Yeah, there's moisture. I, I'm looking at the moisture. Evaporated. It's gonna... Good thing and you got now, that cheese blanket at the bottom. And stuff, I guess. You just dump it in there. Look, I'm not even touching them. Okay. So one 12 inch package made 12 inch uh, package made eight. It's making seven here. Do you mean 12 ounce? Because I got a 15 pack and I wanted to save half. So I heard on the side a caution there. It's making a mess. 12 ounces. Look at how much. Yeah, you meant 12 ounces. So much food. All right. Now we're going to go over here to the taco station. But I set up a little station so it's kind of fun. And it's a make your own thing. Wow. It's getting late though. I think mommy's gonna want us to make ours for her. Let's do that. Yeah. John does delivery service here. Take out and delivery so loud. <laughs> Don't waste any of that meat. Beautiful. Isn't that yeah. pretty? And yeah. then I'm gonna get the beans and the rice on. But this this is a spread that white people are gonna love. Black beans. Okay, Jeez, there's our beans. Green don't rice look right. With the ground spinach cooked in the vegetable stock. Yummy yum. Okay. Is she breathing heavy? Like, are you struggling, okay. Rachel? Green rice. Black beans. Meat-free and possibly good tacos. All you really need is lettuce, taco sauce, and onion. But you can have any salsas you like in guac.